what's up everybody Aaron Puff with Awareness Motorsports here and I'm back at the big shop today giving you what you requested you asked and you shall receive uh, I saw some comments that you guys wanted to know more about this beauty here our 1979 Ford Econoline E350 that's right it's a one ton uh, club wagon chateau uh, van that we've had uh, my dad's owned this since I believe 1986 uh, we bought it uh, from a gentleman who was a fellow racer uh, up in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. And he had bought it, used it as a family vehicle for a few years, and it had just been sitting outside, uh, basically not being used for several years. So it was a bit of a mess when we got it. Uh, my dad went through and completely redid the whole thing, had it painted, restored the inside, um, and we used it for a number of years, not only as a tow vehicle for the race cars, uh, but also as a family vehicle for going on vacations and things like that and it's just been a super cool vehicle over the years every time literally every time we take it out we get stopped at the gas station or everywhere we're traveling with people wanting to see it and complimenting us on it um, so it's just a really really cool old van um, a couple of the highlights it has been updated to the new newer style uh, front grill assembly so it's got a 91 uh, grill assembly in it so it's a little bit updated there um, it does have a brand new, just built uh, 460 in it right now with ported and polished heads. Um, it's got some trick stuff done here and there, primarily for towing. It's got an RV cam uh, that we've advanced a little bit for towing. Um, it's got a uh, quick fuel carburetor on it. Um, we've done some quick or some uh, trick things here and there with the ignition and some of those things, uh, but it's built specifically for towing. Uh, we're making about 500 to 550 foot-pounds of torque with it, which is uh, definitely works well for the, the towing uh, application. Um, it's got a fresh C6 with an aftermarket uh, converter that's specific to the towing application that we have. Um, it does have a Dana 70 rear end with 411 uh, gears in it, positive track, um, that's all fresh. Um, it's got airbags in the rear, so when we're towing, uh, we can use the airbags to help level as well as uh, help with the, the ride and help with the load on the tongue and so forth. So just a lot of trick things. Uh, one of the coolest features is it's got a custom Borla exhaust on it. Uh, we actually worked directly with Borla and some of their engineers and figured out the correct application um, and the thing just sounds killer. So let me give you a quick walk around and I'll show you some of the cool things about it here. So right off the bat, one of the things that I really love about this truck is the uh, paint scheme. This is something that the original owner ordered special uh, from Ford. It's a, just a beautiful gold color with the black two-tone, um, and it gets a lot of compliments when we're out and about traveling. Um, he did order it as well, as you can see up here and over here. He ordered it with the darkest limousine tint in the rear windows you could get. <clears throat> it does have the... Uh, flip out windows in both rear doors as well as uh, the side slider on the other side as well. Then it's got these uh, the big rear windows uh, with the limousine tint as well. Um, it is a club wagon, super wagon, so it's the biggest one that Ford built. It is a one ton chassis, so it's a 350 chassis which works really well for the towing application. Uh, it does have factory step bumper here and it's just a beautiful truck. It's also got the period correct Anson style slot wheels uh, from the 70s and early 80s. Uh, those were actually run on a previous truck that my dad towed with. Uh, we had a 70 uh, three quarter ton Ford with a 428 Cobra Jet in it that he towed with for a number of years. Uh, we did put the aftermarket DZ lighted running boards on it, uh, which are really cool going down the road. It's got three marker lights in the front and three in the rear. Um, really, really nice looking going down the road. It's got 12 50 16 5 tires in the rear, 9 50 16 5s in the front. Um, they are 16 5s, they're getting more and more difficult to find tires for, but they still look just killer on these trucks. Um, it is a Chateau, which is the, the highest trim option that they offered. It does have the factory mirrors. We added the, uh, the slide outs for trailer towing. You can see that we updated the front here to the 91 grill style. I'll open the door here and show you from the front in a second. And then you can see the wing on the back, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, that is for uh, air deflection and uh, kicking the air up over the top of the trailer as it's going down the highway, which really makes a big difference for stability, keeps the bugs off the front of the trailer, 
uh, made a little bit of difference when it uh, comes to fuel mileage, not a ton, but it was mainly stability going down the road um, and keeping the bugs off the front of the vehicle, which is a huge win when uh, I was the guy that typically had to clean everything when we got back from the track. So a little bit about the outside there. Here you can see the front grill assembly. It's been all updated to the 91 style, the newer style. 79 were relatively attractive, but most of the insert was an argent color, kind of a, a flat silver color. And we just liked the way that the 91 stuff looked better. I mentioned to you about the 460. Here it is, as you can tell. My dad keeps things incredibly clean and detailed. This is a brand new motor. It's probably got uh, maybe a thousand miles on it. Uh, ported and polished heads. Um, I think it's 30 over, maybe 40 over. Um, quick fuel carburetor. It's got some trick things on the ignition a little bit. Um, RV spec cam for towing. Factory uh, air front and rear. Front and rear heat. You can see the miles of heater hose underneath here. Taking the hot water to the rear for the rear heat. Um, just a neat old truck. Dual charging, so going down the highway you've got dual batteries. Um, big radiator, uh, trans coolers down in here, all factory. So it is a trailer special, uh, which makes it pretty unique too. We've also got this custom fiberglass air dam that we actually had made from a mold that a friend of ours, Jim Tanner, who was a very well-known Ford stick shift racer here in the southwest Michigan area, uh, had made for his truck. And he had really good luck with it, so he had a few more made and we ended up with one and made a custom mount for the drip rail here. And this thing has just been fantastic for uh, stability going down the highway, kicking the air and the bugs and everything else up over the top of our enclosed trailer. So kind of a unique thing there. Give you guys a look up underneath here too just to see how clean everything is. You can see the, there's the Borla mufflers right there. You can just see everything underneath here is spotless. That's the way my dad keeps stuff. It's clean. It's as rust free as it can be here in Michigan. Dual tanks. Again, both work. With this 460 when she's towing, it's thirsty, so that uh, second tank definitely makes a difference. interior of this truck is just absolutely beautiful. It is a Chateau, which is the highest trim level that Ford offered at the time. And uh, you can see it's just gorgeous with the, uh, the Burlwood inserts on the dash. It's got the Burlwood inserts on the uh, door panels. <clears throat> got the factory uh, tweed captain's chairs that were uh, pretty common in these trucks at the time, the Chateaus especially. Um, it does have an aftermarket uh, center console insert here, which is really handy. It's got that tabletop, additional cup holders, just a lot more storage than these trucks had from the factory. It is factory air tilt, cruise, uh, front and rear air actually, um, and everything works. Cruise still works, air works, uh, front and rear heat, front and rear air all work. Um, just a really neat old truck. It's also got the factory AM FM stereo cassette, the Ford uh, premium sound, I think they called it, with uh, factory uh, amplifier that's down here by your feet. Uh, just a really neat package and then you can see in the rear here uh, it's got the quad captain's chairs. We're storing some stuff in here right now so it's a little cluttered but uh, quad captain's chairs and it's got the queen size bed all the way in the back. As I mentioned when we got this it was kind of a basket case. It had been sitting and not been used for quite some time and the interior was literally in a pile uh, in the back here. Uh, I think the only seat that was actually attached was the driver's captain chair um, and everything, all the, all the paneling, all the seats, everything was just in a pile back here. And unfortunately, when we got uh, everything pulled out and my dad started working on it, we discovered that the rear seat uh, was in enough disarray that we couldn't use it. Let me open the back door here. 
so we actually found one out of another van uh, that's this blue color and uh, initially we were kind of thinking we didn't like it because it didn't match but honestly the the piping on this one matches the interior trim and so forth and with the limousine black windows until you get in the truck you don't even know that it's different so this folds down and makes into a queen size bed there's another cushion in the rear um, and the nice thing about these super wagons is uh, I've actually got a 76 that's the standard length and um, when you've got the the rear seat back there especially if it's folded down or even if you've just got it up in the seat position that rear pad makes it so that you really don't have any cargo space back there so the super wagon makes it really nice because you've got all that extra space you've got an extra about three or four feet behind the rear seat to work with for extra storage which uh, when you're traveling with a family or going to the racetrack uh, you never have enough room for stuff so really really cool but all new carpet um, it's just an absolutely gorgeous truck and really comfortable to travel in and then back here back here we've got additional storage behind the seats and this has kind of become a little bit of a warehouse right now with uh, the race cars being torn apart but uh, you can kind of see here we've got this additional cushion um, spare tires underneath here um, but lots of extra storage back here we've got a curtain rod where we keep jackets and things when we go to the racetrack here but just makes for a really nice rig going down the road you can see it's about a mile long inside but just a cool old truck all right guys that'll do it here from the big shop checking out our 79 uh, one ton Ford van that we've been towing with for a number of years. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good service out of it. We love the truck. Uh, it drives great. We love traveling in it. It's done us a great job, but uh, it is for sale as I mentioned. So if any of you are interested or know somebody that might be, drop a comment below or find me at Awareness Motorsports on Facebook or Instagram and send me a direct message and I'll get you in touch with my dad. You can talk details about that. It's only got 73,000 original miles on it. Um, you've seen how clean it is. It's just a gorgeous truck. We get compliments everywhere we go with it. So thank you so much for checking it out with us. Thanks for the request for the content. Make sure you like the channel and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell icon so you're notified every time that we upload a new video. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Um, and thanks for checking out the video. Have a great day.